It's a great day. My name is Shay Brown, the happy entrepreneur, and I'm so excited to be bringing you this very, very special episode that we're doing on the lab. Now, I want you to know that I was really thinking about trying to um, try to do this indoors. I just arrived in from LA. I mean, not LA. I just arrived in from, where was we at? Uh, Los Angeles. I just arrived in from Los Angeles, and as soon as I arrived, you're not going to believe this. Here I am thinking I could use the hotel's internet, and the hotel's internet's not even working. And so I thought to myself, self, I've got a couple options. Option one is that I could not do anything. Option one is I could not do anything. Um, option two is I could go ahead and at least, at least try to get out here and at least try to do this broadcast and um, not worry about it. So I was traveling from, where was I? I was traveling from Las Vegas to Miami. So I just arrived at Miami at the Coral Gables. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if y'all can see it or not, but y'all be able to see it in a moment. My internet's down now. I don't know if y'all even can even hear me right now. I'm trying to, trying to double check because this is kind of weird. I haven't had a chance to do this before. Like, <laughs> really, really, I haven't. But I'm, I'm trying to do something different. Uh, do me a favor. If you can hear me, just look right below the video. Look right below the video and say, Shay, we can hear you. Shay, we can hear you. So at least I know that you can hear me because it'd be kind of crazy if I was out here and you couldn't hear me. Um, I'm walking back a little closer to the hotel for just a second just so I can make sure that I can be seen because it's possible I could be out here and not be seen. Uh, hey, Cazette White. Hey, Cazette White, how's it going? It's, it's good to know that I can be heard because imagine if I was out here and I couldn't be heard, by the way. There's, there's cars coming, as you can tell. They're like, what is he doing out there? <laughs> this is crazy i'm actually walking with the phone in my hand but don't worry don't worry we're not going to get hurt out here i promise you that let me see nope 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 we're not going to do that so let me let me tell you something there was a question that was asked to me just this past weekend hey daryl mack how's it going hey ricky kirkland how's it going let me see here uh oh i hit, hit the wrong button there we go there we go hey lee spicer how's it going thanks a lot for joining by the way i just just got to miami no more than maybe an hour ago, by the way, maybe about an hour ago. And uh, I can't get my internet to work, so I thought I would come out here and see if I can get internet. So it uh, looks like you can hear me. Let me let me, let me me do a mic check, mic check. Uh, Daryl Mack, if you can hear me, just say, Shay, we can hear you. Cazette, I think you said we can hear you. Uh, Danita, if you can hear me, just let me know. Just, just let me know that I can be heard. I'm going to go back inside. I think the internet's even worse inside, by the way. So let me, let me, let me, let me walk back over this way. I'm going to see if you can hear me. Uh, Danita, if you can hear me, just say, Shay, we can hear you. Uh, let me see here. I'm going inside. Let me see if you can hear me. Uh, which way? I'm trying to go inside. Did I lose them? Did I lose them if I go inside? Uh, I have not done this in so long. I'm not used to walking around. But I'm currently inside the hotel. I'm trying to find... Uh-oh, it says my signal is deep. Though. Okay, because that said we can hear you. Okay, D. Bowden said we can hear you. All right, this is good. This is good. Uh, back in the hotel. I'm trying to find trying to find which way I can go. No, I gotta go back this way. I gotta go back this way. Okay, hold on. One second, everybody. I'm gonna, I'm gonna work this thing out. I'm gonna figure out how to go out of here in just a second. <laughs> oh God, I can't believe I spent all this money in this goddamn hotel and it freaking doesn't work. All right, so I'm, I now made it back, I think to a place where I could be seen and I could be heard. And so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take a, a minute or two and I'm gonna share a question that came up because that D. Bowden, thanks a lot for letting me know you can hear me. I certainly, I appreciate that. And the question came up is, what do I need to do as an entrepreneur to earn $25,000 on a consistent basis? Now, many of you are entrepreneurs, many of you are out there right now and you're listening and you're thinking, yes, yeah, Shay, what do you need to do to earn $25,000? And let me tell you first the reason why I decided to do this broadcast. The reason I decided to do this broadcast, as many of you know, we have The Lab, which is the number one business development and revenue focused late night show. And the challenge with the lab is that I'm on travel. And because I'm on travel, I think I put it here. I didn't spend time, does that work? Let's see here, I mean, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to prop this thing up if y'all wanna know what I'm doing. Oh gosh, this is so hilarious. This is not like being at home, is it, or in your office? Anyway, and so I said, you know what? Just because I'm on travel doesn't mean I cannot do the lab. Doesn't mean that I can't share ideas. And I was in my hotel room for about 20 minutes trying to get it all set up and, and here's what I want you to know jot this in your notes and I'm gonna share the idea everyone put this in your notes if someone look right below the video and just write these words you don't have to get it right sometimes you just got to get going put that down you don't have to get it right 
you just have to get it going. And so I'm in Miami, I'm trying to get it right. I'm in the hotel room for 30 minutes trying to hook up my camera, trying to hook up the web, only to find out that the internet doesn't work and to find out that I'm in this fancy smancy hotel and guess what, there's no lighting. Like the best light is out here. If I'm inside the hotel, all of the light, Martha, all of the light is like yellow. So I would be like all yellow. No matter what I did, I couldn't figure it out. So guess what I did? I grabbed my phone, walked down the steps and said, I'm going to just go outside and I'm just going to have a conversation. And here I am now talking to you. So here's what I'd like for you to do. Let's go ahead and write this down. Everyone do me a favor, jot this down in your notes. You don't have to get it right. You just have to get it going. Say it again. You don't have to get it right. You just have to get it going. And sometimes as entrepreneurs, as business owners, we're trying to make everything perfect. We're like, look, if that thing ain't perfect, I'm not going to do it. If I can't get it right, I'm not going to do it. And I've learned you don't have to get it right. So I'm now going to have a conversation. And what I share with this person is exactly what I'm going to share with you. The person said, Shay, what must I do to earn $25,000 on a consistent monthly basis? The person is a consultant. They help people do a lot of amazing things. If I mention the person's name, you may know who they are, so I'm not going to say anything. And so I said, here's what I need to do. Number one, jot this down in your notes. If you're an entrepreneur, go ahead and jot this down in your notes. I'm going to get going. I don't have any notes. It doesn't really matter. I'm not sure you can even hear me because it's so windy out here. Look, if you can hear me, do me a favor. Look right below the video. Look right below the video and say, I'm ready, Shay. We can hear you. <laughs> I'm ready, Shay. We can hear you. And, and so here's what I said. Let me put these earbuds. God, there's so much wind out here. Hold on. Let me, let me adjust these things. This is crazy. The camera feel like it's shaking all over the place. I'm getting a headache from just holding the camera in one hand. Let me see if I can put the camera here. Okay, I don't have to get it right. I'm going to pop the camera. There we go. Okay. Now the camera is in one place. Here's, here's what I shared. I said, look, the number one thing you need to focus on, if you want to generate $25,000 a month in consistent, predictable, reliable revenue. Revenue is money that came in from you serving people. And how many out there like to generate $25,000? How many out there would like to generate $25,000? Mary Lou, I see you. D. Bolden, I see you. Look, if you want to generate $25,000, you just do just this one idea. And how many ideas do you need to change your life anyway? Uh, one moment, by the way, I'm, I'm going to go walking because there are people around me. They're looking at me like I'm crazy. Sh should I worry about people watching me and listening to me? Probably not. But I'm going to walk at least this way because I feel like everybody's surrounded me. Gee, Monique. I don't know if y'all can see the cars that are pulling up now, by the way. Um, so here's, here's, here's what I said. I said, if you want to generate $25,000 a month, here's what I want you to do. Number one, I want you to focus on telling me or share with me first what is your number one lead generation system that's how i answered the question the person said i want to earn i want to earn twenty five thousand dollars per month i said okay but what is your number one lead generation systems how do you generate consistent qualified leads every single month so you so you can solve a problem and do you know what the person said i don't know no i said seriously like how do you do it like right now as you're listening right now as you're watching right now here's the question i pose for you what is your number one lead generation system? How do you go about finding people with a problem on a consistent monthly basis? And I said, look, if you want to generate $25,000, like if you want to really make that happen, the first thing you got to do is you have, I'm going to walk this way. The first thing you have to do is you have to find a way to get in front of people who have a problem. So I said, what's your number one lead generation system? And you know what the person said? Referrals. I said, that's impossible. Now, I didn't say it like that, but I did come back out and I said, that's impossible for referrals to be your number one lead generation system. I mean, here's why I say that. You can get, get referrals, but it's hard to manufacture referrals. Let me say that again. It's hard to manufacture referrals. There are two types of referrals you get. You get one referral just because you do your job. So you show up and guess what? You do your job and people refer people to you. And many of you that are watching right now, that's how you, that's how you, oh, that's how you get your business, right? Someone actually refers people to you. And that's cool, there's nothing wrong with that. But if you wanna generate $25,000, how, how do you rely on getting referrals on a daily basis? You can ask for a referral, but how do you do that? And so, I said, okay, referrals is your number one lead generation system. If you want to earn $25,000 a month, how much money are you earning now? And the person honestly said, Shay, let me be honest with you. I earn about six, $7,000 a month. I said, so let me get this right. You want to go from earning six 
are $7,000 a month to $25,000 a month in your only lead generation system. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I don't know if y'all can hear me. Let me, let me step over here. It's kind of windy on this side. Your only lead generation system is what? Getting referrals? Crazy. No way. It's not going to happen. So I said, let's step back. And I shared a strategy with her called POI, something that was shared with me by my mentor. Now, I see Mary Lou says, get in front of people that have a problem you're trying to solve. I see it. Uh, she also put, share your number one lead generation system. Thanks a lot, by the way. Thanks a lot. If you're struggling to hear me, just let me know, by the way, because it's windy out here and I'm walking and I really don't know what the heck uh, is going on because I can't even see. I can just see my camera shaking, by the way. So let me go and answer the question that I, that I, that I really promised to answer which was, how do you go about generating $25,000 a month? Hey, Dwayne said he just left Miami. Uh, make some awesome con contacts and business partners. Okay, if you're in Miami, by the way, we're, we're actually in Miami. We're gonna be here for three or four days. So if you're in Miami, go ahead and holler at your boy. Let's, 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 let's hook up, let's hook up. Let's hook up and hang out. All right, so I, here's the strategy that I shared. Get a paper and get a pencil out. It was shared by my mentor. And I shared it with her because I truly believe that she has the ability to earn $25,000. And I believe that she has the capacity to do it, but she's not gonna do it by herself. And she's certainly not gonna do it without generating any qualified leads. So here's what I shared with her. Jot this down in your notes. It's called POI strategy. Put that in your notes. POI strategy. Shay, what in the LL Cool J does POI stands for? Let me tell you, POI stands for person of influence, person of influence. So everyone you know has a network, but not everyone is a person of influence. What makes them a person of influence is they have your customers inside of their network. So imagine for a moment you was drawing this triangle. So let's all draw a triangle. Dwayne, draw a triangle. Mary, draw a triangle. Hey, Cheryl, draw a triangle. At the top of the triangle, write P. O I person of influence and at the bottom of the triangle at the bottom of the triangle I write down customers write down customers so now I'm introducing you to a strategy to help you generate more qualified prospects and prospects of people who could do business with you right they could do business with you and so I'm thinking to myself okay okay Shay she got it she wrote down the triangle just like you're writing down a triangle if everyone is writing down the triangle do me a favor do me a favor look right below the video look right below the video and just write POI put POI person of influence someone take some notes for me if you can by the way if you appreciate it and then I'm gonna break down this strategy for you and I promise you if you're hanging in with me just a few minutes I promise you as I'm taking this probably a two mile walk at the pace we're on by, by the way. I promise you, if you hang in there, can I walk across the street? If you, I don't wanna get hit, hold on a minute. If you hang in there with me, I'm gonna share an idea with you that's gonna help you generate more qualified leads. And you might be wondering, Shay, why are you walking at night? Um, why are you doing a Facebook Live now? The lab normally comes on much later. It's because I made a commitment, right? I made a commitment to all of the followers out there that are, I'm watching the streets, I'm, I'm walking across the street. I don't know if y'all can see that, but there's cars on the other side. So I'm trying to get across the street. I made a commitment that I was gonna share some of the best ideas. And I'm on vacation, right? Not vacation, I'm on travel. And while on travel, I didn't pre-record my message and I didn't ask someone to join on. So now I find myself in a situation where I had two options tonight. Option one is I could just not show up. Then maybe no one knows. Option two, I could do it anyway. And so I decided I was gonna do it anyway. But then I had a problem for those folks that are tuning in. I got over to the hotel, we're staying at the Hyatt Regency, Gable, K uh, I think it's called uh, Coral Gables, Coral Gables. Great hotel, beautiful place. I promise you it's a beautiful place, but there's a problem with this beautiful place. The internet sucks. That's right, that's right, I don't care. Maybe they'll sue me, I have no idea. But I'm in there, I pay $5.95 and guess what? I have no freaking internet connection. And so I had to leave out so I could hang out with y'all and really just, just really have this conversation. So I'm walking around Miami <laughs> and I'm sharing with you this POI strategy. So let me, let me tell you what the POI strategy is. P POI strategy stands for the first of influence. So let me, let me break this down again. 
and okay, where was I going with the story? Where I was going is I'm here delivering the best ideas I know based on the conversation I had just last week at another event. And someone asked me, how do I generate $25,000? And they asked me this question while I was at the pool soaking in some rays. Maybe y'all can see my tan, by the way, because I was just in Las Vegas for about seven days. Um, and uh, <laughs> they asked the question while I was in the water. And so I answered the question. So here's what I said. Number one, number one, I, I asked the question. I said, okay, what's your number one lead generation idea? And I see now that someone said I'm covering up the microphone. Okay, uh, someone texted me. The camera is shaking because I'm holding the camera, okay? I didn't come out here prepared, but I came out here to do the best I can. Got it. But I'm going to do this broadcast anyway. I'm committed to it. Um, and I realize I don't have the lights and my microphone and all the things I thought I needed to have this conversation. But you're here, Kathy Thomas. You're here, Shayna. You, all of you are here right now. Why? Because you're amazing. Why? Because you're incredible. Why? Because every single one of you, you're all sales visionaries. Now, I'm gonna get to the POI strategy, but you're all sales visionaries. You might say, Shay, what is a sales visionary? A sales visionary understands that sales is just the way to develop the resources that you need to execute the vision that was given to you. The vision that was given to you by God, whom I believe in, the vision that was given to you by whomever you believe in, and so you need the resources that get execute the vision you have for yourself or for your family or the vision you have for the people you were called to serve, and the only way to do that, the only way to do that is to generate more sales. And so here's what I want you to know for everyone out there, and I'm gonna get to POI strategy, I'm, I'm gonna get to that, don't worry about that. I'm gonna finish this broadcast because I made a commitment that I'm gonna do it no matter what. So here I am, here I am. Look, if you wanna, if you wanna be interviewed next time, you'll make my life so much easier. I should've asked someone, would you please let me interview you? I wouldn't have to work this hard, but it's okay. It's okay, I had a seven hour flight, but it's cool, it's cool. I knocked on Trevor Oz's door, bang, 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 bang. My good friend Trevor Oz, he was getting in the shower. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't grab Trevor Oz. I can wait for him or I can just go do it anyway. I decided to do it anyway. All right, so let's talk about the sales visionary because one of the challenges the person I was talking to, C. Lynn Jackson, one of the challenges Warren Brown, the person had, was they said they really don't like sales. So I said, okay, let me, let me get this right. You don't like sales, but yet you have a vision. Okay, so you can't love your vision and hate sales. No more than you can love sales and hate your vision. So I told the person, just repeat after me for a moment. I said, look, I'm going walking again. I'm, this water's getting on my nerves. I'm going walking. So, so, so I said, hey, look, here's what I'd like for you to do. I'd like for you to tell yourself this right now. I love sales and I love my vision. Let me say that again. I love sales and I love my vision. Well, why do I love my vision, Shay? Because you are a sales visionary. You are not a sales person. A sales visionary, what they understand, they understand that sales just helps them develop the resources they need in order to execute the vision that was given to them. Holla if you hear me out there. Hit the heart button if you hear me. If you have a vision right now for yourself, now you have a vision for yourself, and the only way to execute that vision for yourself is that you've gotta go out there right now and you've gotta, you need the resources. And the only way to get the resources is to do what? Is to make some sales. So sales gives you the resources you need it helps you develop the resources you need in order to execute the vision you have for yourself. Let's all take a moment, and I'm gonna give you the POI strategy, I haven't forgotten, but let's all take a moment right now, right now, take a moment and just, and just write down right now, what is the vision you have for yourself? Maybe you see yourself hanging out with a personal trainer. Maybe that's the vision you have for yourself. Uh, 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 maybe, I see you out there, Green. I see you out there, Orrin. Hey, I see you out there, Mary. Uh, I see you out there, I need my glasses. Oh, C. Lynn Jackson, what is the vision you have for yourself? Maybe the vision you have for yourself is you want to retire. Maybe the vision you have for yourself is you want to write a check right now and you, wanna, you, want, you want your retirement account to go up. You want to replace all the money you spend in your business right now. I don't know what the vision you have for yourself. Maybe it's that vacation home you want. I don't know. But in order for you to execute that vision that you have, you need the resources. So sales, you're a sales visionary. You're a sales visionary. Come on, holla, holla. You're a sales visionary. Sales allows you to get the resources you need 
in order to execute the vision you have for yourself, go ahead and write down the vision you have for yourself right now. This, let's just take a moment to do that. Look, I'm walking out here. I don't care the internet doesn't work in the hotel. I don't care I don't have lights shining down on me. I don't have a microphone. I'm yelling in the middle of the street in Miami. Who cares? Hey, what's going on, man? This guy, guy would think I was crazy. He's actually a police officer. The police is walking down the street. If I get arrested out here, you guys, just know I'm at a, I'm at a public place. Let me, let me show, let me make sure they all see on Facebook. Can I, how do I turn this thing around? I can't remember how to turn it. Okay, there we go. I'm at, a, I'm at a public place. Where's the police? I, I can't show the police out here. He's waving saying, don't show him, okay? So I will not show you, sir. Officer, I'm not showing you. I promise you. I promise you. So I'm going to leave. So I think, before I get arrested, I think this is a public place. Like, I, I think I have rights to stand on the corner, but <laughs> I'm in Miami. This is probably not the time to be challenging that, is it? Because I'm trying to talk about being a sales visionary, but... You know, when I see 5-0, I think I better, I better walk. So let me, let me walk this way because he's, he's, he's asking me to leave. He's politely asking me to leave. I'm politely going to walk my, I'm not going to say my behind over here. The lighting was so good over there. Why did, he, why did the guy make me leave? I don't understand. I was just minding my business, talking in the middle of the street. Uh, oh, well. All right. So hopefully I'll get to some lights again soon, y'all. I'm just out here trying to do it. Okay. We're going back to sales visionary. Someone do me a favor. Look right below the vi video. Look right below the video and write these words. I am a sales visionary. Just write that down. I am a hashtag sales visionary. If you believe that sales helps you develop the resources that you need in order to execute the vision you have for yourself, for your fam, for your loved ones, and... For those you were called to serve, look right below the video, look right below the video and just write these words. I am a hashtag sales visionary. I am a hashtag sales visionary. If y'all wonder why I keep looking back because the police told me to move from the other spot and so I'm just making sure I don't get arrested out here. Um, if the Hyatt Regency, Coral Gable, it's supposed to be a really nice hotel. I don't know if we're gonna do our event there by the way. I'm gonna talk to Trevor about that tomorrow because the internet sucks. I'm totally pissed off about that. So anyway, don't worry. I walked about two miles now, but I'm walking down here and we're gonna finish this conversation. So you right now, hey, what's going on? I see you out there. Hey, Jill Bullock. Hey, what's up, Aaron, my fan? <laughs> Y'all are crazy. Y'all are crazy. Hey, Tanya, good to, good to see you. Oh, cool, I found another area. Hopefully the police won't come make me leave this area over here. This is a cool area. It has lighting over here, by the way. All right, so see Lynn Jackson. I am a hashtag sales visionary. I am a hashtag sales visionary. And, and what I want you to know is I want you to write these words. I love sales and I love my vision. I love sales and I love my, and I love my vision. I love sales and I love my vision. See, you have to love sales if you love your vision because sales helps you develop the resources you need to execute your vision, the vision you have for yourself. Now, some of you wrote that down. Don't worry, police is not gonna put me out. I, I walked back there a few minutes ago. They're not, they're not coming. I keep looking back, by the way, because I ain't trying to get locked up in Miami. That'd be totally embarrassing to get locked up in Miami out here, by the way, because I'm doing a Facebook Live. Now, let's, let's get back to it. What is the vision you have for the people you love the most? I love sales and I love my vision. I see you, Jill Bullock says, I love sales and I love my vision. Mary Lou said, I love sales and I love my vision. Now, you had a vision for yourself. You wrote that down. Tomorrow I see you. I love sales and I love my vision. What is the vision you have for your loved ones? No, no seriously, a moment ago, we talked about the vision you have for yourself. Can I go over here? This is like this is a public place. It's not, not light over here, but I hold up. Oh, Miami is so beautiful in the middle of the night. I gotta get back. I just, uh, let me just see here. Yeah, I think I can get out here. This is, this is pretty cool over here. Let me, let me up here for a moment. Of course, you can't see me, but it's such a nice spot. Like, lights, they got lights all over Miami. Look at those lights. This is crazy. Okay. I see you out there. See, Lynn says, I love sales and I love my vision. Okay. It's dark, but don't worry. I'm gonna try to find a place that has lights, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all, y'all just hanging there with me. Okay. Write down the vision you have for your loved ones because you have a vision for the people that you love. You have a vision for yourself. You have a vision for people you were, that you love, your loved ones, and you have a vision right now for the people you were called to serve. But right now, I just want you to write down what is the vision you have for your loved ones? Like right, like, like right now. Now maybe some of you wanna 
send your kids to a school of your choice. Hey, Kat, I see you out there. I love sales. I love my vision. Uh, Kat's the one that convinced me, by the way. I called Kat earlier today and I told her, I said, look, I'm not going to be able to do the broadcast tonight. Um, internet sucks. Um, it's slow. Uh, I can't possibly get on camera and not have lights, by the way. I can't get on camera and not have a good microphone. Can't get on camera and not have a good view. And she said, Shay, you made a promise. You made a commitment. What about consistency? What about you don't have to get it right. You just have to get going. And I said to Kat, I can't believe you used my own words on me. But you know what I decided to do? I decided to listen to her. And that's why you need good people in your corner, by the way. Hey, Sandra Collins, you need folks who just believe in you. And they said, look, I enjoy watching this. So I'm, I'm, I'm expecting to see something today. And I said, well, I don't know if I can do it at 11 o'clock because of the time change. Don't you realize I've been on a plane all day? But it doesn't matter. You don't have to get it right. You just got to get going. So what do you have for, what's the vision you have for your loved ones? Now, I want you, as you're doing that, to make sure you understand what a sales visionary is. A sales visionary understands that sales, that sales is how you develop the resources that you need to execute the vision you have for yourself and the vision you have for the one, your loved ones. Uh, hold on a minute, I see cars coming. Wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. Let's not get hit out of this camp. Uh, I got a vision, but I, I'm, try, I'm trying to live too. Um, anyway, I'm, I'm in the middle of the street, by the way. <laughs> hold on a second, I gotta walk across this street. I, I ain't getting hit out here, this is crazy. Okay, hold on, okay. Wait a minute, wait a minute. They'll be just fine. Wait, 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 there's someone. Gosh, it's crazy. Don't, don't, don't just leave out here. Okay, so, sorry, I'm about two miles in walking. And I'm getting a little tired. How you doing there? Good, <laughs> good, 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 good. Sorry, I'm just hanging out. Someone just leaving the ATM machine. I don't know if y'all can see her walking back there. It was, it's a white lady. She was looking at me like, oh my gosh. I'm like, I'm just walking by the ATM machine. It's, it's all good. It's all good. It's cool. It's cool. Okay, so let's get back. I got some light again. I feel like I'm light. They might, they might, might throw me out of here. Who knows? I'm over there. There's a guard. You can see the guard sitting back there. He's looking at me. I'm looking at him. He's a brother. I'm like, hey, what's up, bro? All right, so here's what I told the person so they can make 25000 The reason I want you all to understand that you're sales visionaries because that's the highest form of sales is when you have a vision like Noah. Noah was given a vision by God, but, but Noah couldn't go out there and build the ark without the resources. Uh, Noah couldn't go out and save folks without the resources. Just like you right now in your business, your vision is much bigger than you. It's much bigger than just your family. It's much bigger. It's for the people you were called to serve. That's why I told you to put down earlier, I am a hashtag sales visionary. Mary Lou says she wants to retire herself. She wants to teach my kids how to build their own business. It takes resource to do that. It takes, it takes resource to do marketing. It takes resource to do branding. It takes resources to make these things happen. It doesn't just happen overnight. It's not how it happens. So let's, let's get back to the POI strategy. So now that I feel comfortable, I'm not getting arrested out here because uh, I didn't want to stand in front of that guy's place either, by the way. Gee, she has nowhere to go. Can I get a brother just hang out? Um, it's going to be dark for a moment. Don't worry. The lights will come back as soon as I get somewhere close by. So let's talk about this POI strategy. For those folks that are just tuning in right now, that are just listening, I want you to know that we were in Las Vegas last week. I was in the pool hanging out at the Westin Resort. Great conference with none other than the one and only April Franks. What an amazing individual, by the way, and a whole host of folks out there. And they were all working on their vision. They were working on their business, they were working on themselves. And while I was at the pool on the last day, somebody asked a question and said, Shay, what does it take to earn $25,000 a month? This person's earning between six and $7,000 on a monthly basis. And so I shared this strategy while in the pool that I'm gonna share with her. It's called POI Strategy. Thanks a lot, Cosette White. Uh, I love what you're doing, by the way. If you haven't connected with Cosette White, she's doing some amazing things, like her television show, like she's on a real TV show. It's like amazing. She's just an incredible person. She's actually in California. And Cosette, remind me to talk to you, by the way, because there's an opportunity. It's a Cess Women's Conference, by the way. They're, they're looking for some live speakers to be there. Um, the do workshop, by the way, successconference.info. So uh, make sure you reach out to me, by the way. If you're a speaker out there, you're like, hey, wait a minute, Shay. I want to speak at a success women's conference. It's called successconference.info. Uh, someone put that right below, successconference.info. If you're looking to speak, by the way, uh, just, just send me a text. Send me a text. 
uh, text me at 202-270-1662. How did I get on that topic? Text me at 202-270-1662. That's for Karen Cherry, who's out there, one of the founders. It's a great person, by the way. Text me at 202-270-1662. Just put down success conference.info put success conference.info and that that means you know that you want to be a speaker there and I'll, I'll reach out to you i'll give you a call by the way um um, um make sure you put your first name because some of you i don't know who you are because that i know who you are your, your number is in my phone um but um yeah just text me personally if you're a speaker if you're an author if you're a coach if you're a trainer if you are someone out there that wants to empower encourage and inspire women to be more do more and have more uh, the conference is called successconference.info, successconference.info, and they're looking for speakers. And so Karen and I were talking, and so I said I knew some folks. I forgot about that. Till the, how did I get on this topic until I'm now talking to you? And you might be a speaker. You're like, Shay, I want to speak at a women's conference. Shay, I've got a message. Shay, I can change the world. Shay, I was born not to speak, but to empower. I was born to uplift, to encourage, to inspire. If that's you, if that's you, you can just text me. Text me at 202-270-1662. Text me at 202-270-1662. Um, and I'll make sure that you uh, that I connect you, not only with Karen, but I'll also help you because if you want to get on the stage, she asked me for a couple of recommendations. I'd love to talk to you tomorrow. Don't, don't wait. Don't wait. You can text me tonight, 202-270-1662. Make sure you text successconference.info. Put your first name so I know who you are. Put your last name so I know who you are. Your best contact number because I got to call you. And then, um, you know, if, if there's a topic you speak on, if it's personal development, put personal development. If it's business, put business. If it's, um, 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 you know, if it's empowering, put empowering. And then we'll, we'll have that conversation. That's only for people who want to speak. All right, I'm getting back to the POI strategy because this one idea has helped myself. It's helped a number of my clients truly Get generate consistent qualified leads on a regular basis. And it's gonna help you as well. So here's what I want you to do. Someone right now, draw a triangle. Draw a triangle. Hey Angelo Richards, how you doing? Hey Kat, how you doing? Hey Mary, I see you. Hey uh Morris, how you doing? I can't see it's so dark out here, by the way. Um, at the top of the triangle, write POI. POI stands for person of influence. At the bottom of the triangle, write customers. Write down customers. And this strategy was taught to me by my mentor 15 years ago, and it still holds true today. It still holds true today. And so here's what you're going to do. <clears throat> the question I want you to ask yourself every single day when you wake up, this is the $25,000 question for you to ask yourself to grow your business is this one question. Who has my customer? I'm looking around because I don't want to get hit out here, y'all. Uh, who has my customer? So write that right in the middle of the triangle, right down the middle of the triangle. Who has my customer, right? Who has my customer? Who is someone that I can influence one time, that's the POI, and they, I can have access to their network? Because everyone you know has a network, but not everyone is a POI. What makes them a POI is they have your customers. They have your customers inside of their what? Network, inside of their network. Now, here's what I'm gonna do. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna talk through the strategy. But right now, if you are a speaker, if you're an author, I want you to look right below the video, look right below the video right now, look right below the video right now, and just put down your topic. Put down, I am a speaker, all right? I am a coach, or I am an author, or I empower women. I want you to look right below the video. Put that down and then tag Karen Cherry. Tag Karen Cherry. <laughs> That'll be fun. Tag Karen Cherry because if that's you, then I want to make sure that I connect you. Now, I know some of y'all are going to text me. I know some of y'all are going to do that. But I want you to look right, right, right below the video and talk about how you do that. Okay? Let's do that right now. That'll, that'll be fun. That'll be a little excitement we have. So we're going to ask ourselves, who has, our, who has my customer? Who has my customer? Now, let's first talk about who did this on a global scale, and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna talk about how you can do it in your business, right? How you can do it in your business. So you think about first on a global scale, who implemented the POI strategy? And the name that comes to mind, oh, oh, I, can't, I can't go that way, too many cars coming. Hold on a minute, hold on. The cars are coming down the street. I was gonna cross the street, but it's not a safe place to cross the street right there. Um, 
So I'm I'm holding the phone. I can't tell you the last time I've held the phone, by the way, and walk while I while I did this. Hey Gloria Long, how you how you doing? Hey Orin, Orin said he's he's a speaker. Hey Orin, good good to see you, man. Love what you're doing, man. Love what you're doing. Put the topic you talk about, Warren, because you're out there rocking it out, by the way. All right. So you think about Starbucks, right? And Starbucks is a global brand. And when Starbucks got started, they implemented the POI strategy. Here's how Starbucks did it. Here's how Starbucks did it. They were sitting in a meeting one day. I wasn't there. And someone asked the question, who has my customer? Who has my customer? And someone said, Barnes & Noble. Now, Barnes & Noble is a what? Bookstore. And so someone went to Barnes & Noble and they talked to Barnes & Noble and Barnes & Noble gave them access to their customers. And before you know it, Barnes & Noble, Barnes Noble, I'm sorry, Starbucks, was inside of like 583 Barnes and Nobles all over the custom, all over the country. So, so you go into a Barnes and Noble, and there's what? There is a Starbucks. So here's the question: Who has your customer? Who has your customer? Who's a POI, a person of influence for you? I'm gonna help you out right now. I'm gonna help you out right now for all my speakers right now, for all my speakers, all my coaches, all my trainers. If that's you and you want to be participated at the Success Women's Conference, just look right below the video and put "I am a speaker" or "I am a coach" or "I'm an author." And so then Bar Starbucks asked himself, Audra Woodley. Starbucks said, "Who else has my customer?" We're doing the POI strategy. We're doing the POI strategy, the person of influence strategy. They said, who else has my customer? And then someone sitting around the table, do you know what they said? They said airports. No, seriously, they said airports. Now, if you go into any airport now, you go into any airport and you're walking like I'm walking now, I think we're about two miles now, but I'm walking and what do you, what do you see at an airport? What do you see? Someone says Starbucks, that's right. Why? Because Starbucks, because airports has Starbucks customer. So when you get up every single day, we gotta ask yourself, who has your customer? Who's a person of influence? Who's someone you can go to one time and have access to their network? Because everyone should be working with a POI. Now Starbucks step back again and they say, who has our customer, right? They say, who has our customer? And you know what happened? Someone said, we ain't done yet. No, we ain't done yet. Who else has Starbucks customer? I'll tell you what, I'll give you one more example and then I'll go ahead and I'm going to break it down for you. Uh, but I want you to hear me because I'm going to tell you how you can do this. I'm talking about a global brand, but you can take best practices and you can apply it in your business as well. No, really, you can apply these same practices in your business. And um, someone said, you know, who, you know who has our customer? Someone said, who? They said grocery chains. They're a POI because people go to grocery chains and people want to drink. They want to eat. That's why they went to the store. And so when they did that, guess what happened? Oh, I know, someone, someone said, look, look like I got a sunburn. I did get a sunburn. I was, I was in Las Vegas prior to hanging out with you guys now for the last seven days. I'm now in Miami. I'm hoping to hopefully get a tan out here too. <laughs> Sometimes I love my job. Sometimes I love what I do, by the way, I really do. And so Starbucks goes, they convince Giant. They convince a Safeway. Now, I don't know where you live. I live in Washington, D.C., one of the greatest cities in the country. But whenever you go into there, you see a what? Starbucks. So the question to ask yourself right now, like Starbucks, is who has your customer? Now, I'm going to tell you right now, sales visionaries, that's you. You're a sales visionary. You have a vision. And sales is how you get the resources you need to execute the vision that was given to you for yourself, for the people you love, your loved ones and for the people you were called to serve. So you are a sales visionary, right? That, that's you. And so we need some resources. So let's ask the question. The person I was talking to, let's get back to me being in the pool in Las Vegas at the Western Resort. That's right, holla at your boy. I'm a black man and I do swim. There were some sisters in the pool. They do swim as well. Well, they didn't dip their head down. <laughs> I think, okay, I say maybe two. One was a natural, by the way. Dip their head in the water. Everybody else was just gliding in the water. They were gliding. But black folks do swim, by the way. And black folks do get in the water. I don't know where that myth came from, but I'm here to tell you, black folks, we do swim. At least I do, by the way. And so anyway, coming back to you, coming back to you. If you swim, if you're, if you're a swimmer, just look, just, just look right. If you even enjoy the beach, if you enjoy the water, gee whiz, look right below the video, look right below the video. Now I'm not jumping in that pool, that'd be crazy. I get locked up out here. Um, but look right below the video and just put, 
I enjoy the beach. Because black folks enjoy the beach. We do, we do, we do. There's this myth that we don't. That's not true. Hey, Elisa, how you doing? Hey, Donna, how you doing? It's great to see you. Audra says, I enjoy the beach as well. That's right. If you enjoy the beach, you enjoy relaxing, you enjoy putting your feet in the water. Just for fun. Just look right below the bill. Look right below the bill so I know I'm not alone. And just put, I enjoy the beach. <laughs> That's you. That's right. I got a tan. I really don't care. What's up, Velton Child? I just arrived in your hometown. I'm at the, uh, I'm in Miami. Uh, Velton's not too far from here. I'm at the Hyatt Regency uh, Coral Gables or Gable Coral. It's one of those freaking hotels. And Belton, the internet sucks. I, I can't use the internet. So I'm out here walking around doing my broadcast because I can't use the internet. That's fine. It's working. All right, let's get back to your POI strategy. Let's get back to what you need to do in your business because this is not about me. Although we're having fun because I got your text. Hey, Cheryl Pope Clark. It's not about me. This is really all about you and about you making $25,000, about you having the best system in place that you need to do that. So what I want you to do right now is think about a POI. Who would be a good POI for you? Now, most folks, they work with maybe one or two POIs a month, maybe. That's their focus. And this is how you're gonna generate consistent, reliable, qualified leads, is that you are going to now work with POIs, a person of influence. But the superstars, the folks who, who generate revenue on a consistent basis, the sales visionaries that implement their vision, they work with 25 to 30, 25 to 30, I'll say it again, 25 to 30 POIs. And if you're out there right now, you're thinking, shit, I don't even have 25 or 30 POIs. Cazette, I'm going to help you right now. Cazette, I'm going to help Cazette White right now help her put together POIs. And all of us going to help her as well. And then for some of you who want me to help you right now, here's what you're going to do. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to look right below the video, look right below the video right now, and just jot these words. I must implement, I will implement the POI strategies. Put that down. I will implement the POI strategy. I will implement the POI strategy. Can I pop the phone up? My hand hurts. I will <laughs> implement the POI strategy. Thank you. I will implement the POI strategy. I will do what? Implement the POI strategy. Who has my customer? Let me let me let me let me walk y'all through that again. And then Cazette White, who's out there, who helps people build wealth, we're gonna work with her in just a second, help her generate at least 25 POIs. Okay, a POI. You drew a triangle. At the top of the triangle is POI. POI stands for person of influence. So everyone you know has a network. But not everyone is a person of influence. What makes them a person of influence is they have your customers inside their network. And so the question that I asked you to put, the question I asked you to put right in the middle was, who has my customer? That's the question you're gonna ask yourself every single day when you wake up. Who has my customer, right? I'm, I'm looking around. They, they, hold on, let me, let me make sure. I'll I, I make sure I don't get thrown out of my own place. I'm, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me just walk in there. Who has my customer? I was giving you the idea of Starbucks. I'm, I'm going back. It's, it's okay to be out here broadcasting, right? Uh, no problem. Okay, okay. So the guy said I can do that. Let me just go inside my own hotel. This is the hotel I'm staying at that has sucky internet. Sucky, sucky internet. The internet sucks, guys. It sucks. But they're cool in here. They're cool. All right, all right, all right. Let me. I was, I was, trying, I was trying to see if Trevor Oz was down here, but I don't see Trevor. You guys, you guys see Trevor in here? No, he's probably in his room. He's probably watching. He shouldn't be asleep by now. It's too early to sleep. Okay, let me let me let me walk back out. There. Okay. All right. All right, I'm back. POI strategy. Okay, so and then I talked about Starbucks and how Starbucks implemented the POI strategy and how you can implement the POI strategy. So Cazette White is out there right now. Uh, I see you, Erica Reed, and hey, I see you out there, Glory Long. Um. And so, Cazette White, Cazette, for the moment, I can't call you because I'm on the phone, so I can't call you at the same time. Um, but post below, Cazette White, what you do. Just take a moment, Cazette White. I'm going I'm to highlight Cazette White. She's been here since the beginning. She's crazy, but she's listening to right now. And Cazette, you, right, right below the video, Cazette, you put what you do. So you just put, my name is Cazette White, and I blank. And, and others that's out there right now, Audra Whitley, want to do that as well. Look right below the video, look right below the video, and just put what you do. Now, some of you already put in, I will implement the POI strategy. I will implement the POI strategy. 
And for everyone that does that, for everyone that does that, I'm gonna post the 25 POIs and the whole strategy over at happyentrepreneurstribe.com. I'll post it over at happyentrepreneurstribe.com. That's, that's, that's what I'm gonna post it over at happyentrepreneurstribe.com because I'm gonna forget it in a, little, in a little while. And I'll go back in and I'll look at the people who wrote those words. I will implement the POI strategy. So, because that white, she helps people build wealth. And who would be a good POI for, for uh, Cazette White? Who is a good POI for her? She works with businesses and she helps them put their books together. She helps them do their taxes. Who would be a good POI for Cazette White? Cazette uh, White put down, I am America's number one advisory accountant and expert. I help businesses grow their business. Okay. All right. So I'm trying to read it because it's dark out here <laughs> and I can't see, but I think I saw that correctly. So everyone is listening right now. If Cazette wanted to partner and she was looking for a good POI, who would be a good POI for Cazette? Now, Cazette, I want you to take a moment. Now, you're not trying to sell the POI. We never try to sell the POI. We're trying to partner, we're trying to provide value, we're trying to get access to their network because we understand as a company, our number one goal every day, our number one goal every day is to what? Find someone with a problem so that we can solve it. We're all in the problem solving business. Do me a favor, look right below the video, look right below the video and write these words. I am in the problem solving business. Put those words down right now. I am in the problem solving business. Just write those words, look right below the video. Oh, it's windy over here. <laughs> write those words down, write those words down right now. Oh, it's too windy over here. I am in the problem solving business. Why is that, Shay? Because people will pay you today if you help them solve a problem today. You're just in the problem solving business, that's it. So we're gonna help people solve problems because people will pay us today if we help them solve a problem today. You're in the problem solving business. So we're gonna help Kazette out. We're gonna help Kazette out. We're gonna help her identify 25 POI. So if Kazette was out there right now and she worked with business owners, who would be a good POI for Kazette? Who would be a good POI for Kazette? Now, for purposes of right now, let's just say that a good POI for Kazette right now is someone who's in business. Now, I'm going to pick, you can pick any industry, Kazette, any industry, but I'm going to pick the industry for now. I'm walking over way because it's so windy over here. Let's keep walking this way. It's so windy. Um, let's pick one industry. So, Kazette, I'm going to say, let's say you work with network marketers. Now, I know you work with anybody. I'm not going to just say network marketers. Let's say network marketers because they're business owners and they've got to do their taxes, right? And they've got to have their books organized and they want to create wealth as well. So, let's say I was sitting with Kazette and she had paid me $1,500. And we're having a session, just Cazette and I. We're just talking and having a conversation. And I asked her, I said, look, would you like to earn an extra $25,000? And she says, yes. And then I said, oh, make sure I'm hit out this camp. Um, and she said, yes. So I said, okay, Cazette, who's a good P how many POIs do you have to work with? And she said, not many, Shay. And I said, okay, let's get some POIs. I said, you work with network marketers, here's what you can do. You are, let's just say she wants to work with you. I say network marketers. She could go to Google. It's free. If it's free, it's for me. And she could type in network marketing companies within a 75 mile radius of her house, considering she want to drive 75 miles. And she could get the first name, the last name, and phone number for every, for every network marketing company within a 75 mile radius. So network marketing companies could be a good POI for her. Let's say that she says, no, Shay, I work with boutiques oh, how you done there good well let's let, let's say she said i work with boutiques right um one of the, one of the things that she could do is she could go to google it's free and she could type in boutiques women boutiques and she could get the first name last name and phone number to all the women boutiques within a 75 mile radius now i'm not sure she's gonna sell them I'm, i'll talk about the sales logical argument but right now we know one thing, in order for her to generate $25,000, she needs some leads. She needs some prospects, right? Now, I'm not saying they're qualified, but she needs leads. Everyone jot this down in your notes, and I'm going to stop, but jot this down in your notes, and I'm going to give you three more ideas on your POI strategy, because every single one of y'all could do this. 
Jot this in your notes. Leads represent hope. The person I was talking to, they want to generate $25,000 and they had no lead generation strategy. Their number one lead generation strategy, you know what it was? Referrals. And you know, referrals cannot get you $25,000 a month on a continued basis because it's hard to manufacture them. You can't make them up. So leads represent hope. Leads represent hope. Add the second phrase. No leads, no hope. <laughs> Back is silly. Uh, no leads, no hope. Leads represent hope. Leads represent hope. No leads, no hope. I see you out there, Mary Lou, writing it. Audrey, I see you. You're taking notes really well. I see you. Leads represent hope. No leads, no hope. Now, let's say, for example, that that, that Cazette's thinking. She says, you know what, Shay? I also work with business owners. One of the things that Cazette could do is she could very easily, very easily say, I work with business, with women business owners. She could go to Google. If it's free, it's for me. She could type in women business organizations within a 75 mile radius and get the first name, last name, and email of the president of those women business organizations. Now, we'll talk about how she gets the appointment. We'll talk about how she sets the appointment, but first she needs leads. Leads represent hope. Leads represent hope. No leads, no hope. No leads, no hope. Someone jot that down right, right below the video. Right, right below the video. Just put that down right now. Leads represent hope. No leads, no hope. Hashtag sales visionary. No leads, no hope. Hashtag sales visionary. No leads, no hope. Hashtag sales visionary. And we know that a sales visionary, they understand that sales helps them develop the resources they need to execute their vision. The vision that was given to them for themselves, the vision they have for their loved ones, and the vision they have for the people they were called to serve. They need resources, they need marketing, they need branding, they need automation, they need people, they need a team. It takes resources to execute that business. So one of the things I said to Todd, we talked about being a sales visionary, because that's out there, and she wants to generate leads. And let's say she says, you know what, Shay? I work with speakers. Now, because that helps people build wealth, it helps them grow their business. Let's just say she says, I work with speakers. And I was asked the question, how many speakers do you have right now in your Infusionsoft or in your active campaign or in your Entreport? And if you don't know what those things are, don't worry, just holler if you hear me, by the way. And so, because that can easily go to Google. I'm telling you, if it's free, it's for me. This is just a starting point. And she could type in, women speakers within a 75 mile radius and get the first name, get the last name, get the email. And she could reach out to them and start her sales logical argument. Well, let's say, cause that's out there and she's thinking, you know what, Shay, I help women grow their business. I help them build, build wealth. Who would be a good POI? Now I probably mentioned five POIs. I'm gonna help someone out there. Matter of fact, for those folks to text the word revenue, text the word revenue, text the word revenue to uh, 202, 999-3515, text the word REVENUE to 202-999-3515. You can have a meeting, I'll work with the first five people, and I'm gonna help you at least with your first 25 POIs. Because one thing I know about Cosette, she's been doing this for a while. She's a veteran, been doing this over 10 years. Helping businesses grow, working on herself, working on her business, she's now on a TV program out in California. Cazette, let us know what TV show you're on. We'll do a shout out to him. And, and, and I know that I know that if she generates more qualified leads, I, I know if she gets in front of people who have a problem, I know if she shares how she solves the problem, I know the magic will happen. Just like when I was talking to that person sitting in the pool and we were having that conversation, I knew, I said, look, if you focus on the POI strategy, the next time we have a conversation, if you're working with at least, at least 25 POIs on a continuous basis, I promise you the magic will happen by itself. I'm out here with Teresa Ryle, by the way. I, I was out here working, Teresa. She said, don't, don't put her on camera. I can't, I look, I'm, 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 I'm gonna walk by her. I'm gonna walk by her. Just give me, give me two seconds. I'm coming in for get some meat. Uh, uh, Teresa, she, she, she's shaking her head like, Shay, what are you doing? I'm late. I suppose we going to a meeting, but I got carried away with you guys. She's like, I'm not ready for the camera, Shay. Uh, Teresa Riles is a fantastic event player, and she's out here with us. I don't know what Trevor Otz is, by the way. He's probably ducking right now, too. But uh, anyway, 
I, I'm going to spend another two minutes and I'm going to go inside. We're supposed to have a meeting, but I'm out here hanging out with you guys, by the way. I'm hanging out with you guys because you guys are all amazing. Y'all are all incredible. Y'all are, y'all are just rock stars. Y'all are making things happen. Y'all are entrepreneurs. Y'all are black CEOs. Y'all are sales visionaries. Y'all are happy entrepreneurs. And you know what I know? That I know you have a big heart. I know you want to serve. I know you're a game changer. I know you want to make a difference in the world. And you know what? That's one of the reasons why I want to have this conversation with you out here this evening. Because my internet didn't work. The hotel doesn't work. But I don't care. Because I know one thing. The results that show up in your life are just as important as the results that show up in your bank account. So with that being said, I'm going to get you guys the POI strategy. Hey, Donna. Hicks Izzard, an amazing person. I'm not gonna say what she's doing, but she's gonna do. She's doing some big things. Y'all just keep your eyes on the DI. <laughs> she's the original B, the only B. Trust me, I'll let her get into the Bs. I don't want to get into that because y'all gonna think I'm I'm saying something wrong, and that is not the case. I promise you. But um, I'm gonna go in here. For those that text me, I'm looking forward to getting you the POIs. Uh, for those folks, go over to HappyEntrepreneursTribe.com. Again, HappyEntrepreneursTribe.com. I'm looking forward to connecting with you. And I know that I know that I know that I know that the best is yet to come for you. The best is yet to come. The best is yet to come. Look, this has been a lot of fun hanging out with you, walking these three miles. I'm a little out of breath, but it's all good. I'm in Miami. I'm going back to the Hyatt uh, Regency, uh, the Coral Gables, where if freaking internet don't work, so I can't be sitting in my comfy chair with my microphone and my lights, but who cares? You don't have to get it right sometimes. You just got to get going. That's what we are as entrepreneurs. That's what we are as black folks. We just go out there and we just make it happen. What? Anyway, with that being said, I'll say goodbye. Look, you're amazing. You're incredible. And I want you to know that I believe in you. I believe in you. This is one of the original, original episodes of The Lab. I think I'm holding this phone the wrong way. I think I'm supposed to be holding it this way, but I'm holding it this way instead. Ah. Hey, I did the best I could. With that being said, my name is Shay Brown, uh, the happy entrepreneur. Make it a great day, everyone. And as we sign off, just look right below the video and put, I am a hashtag sales visionary. A sales visionary understands and knows that sales just gives you the resources, helps you develop the resources you need to execute the vision that was given to you by God for you to serve people, for you to serve your family, and for you to serve other folks. Just look right below the video and put, I am a hashtag sales visionary. You're not a salesperson. You're not trying to convince someone. You're not trying to persuade someone. You're not an icky, sticky salesperson. That's not you. There's a paradigm shift. I come to share that with you. We're all on this new paradigm shift. You are a sales visionary. It's the highest form of sales because sales helps you develop the resources you need right now to execute the vision that was given to you. I happen to be a believer in God, so I believe the vision was given to you by God, but you need resources to execute that vision because it's much bigger than you. With that being said, my name again is Shay Brown, the happy entrepreneur. Make it a great day. I see you, Donna says, I am a hashtag sales visionary. She's a sales, <laughs> Donna, what are you doing up, by the way? Um, uh, <laughs> Donna's crazy. All be out there. Hey, I see you, B. Jacqueline. Thanks for joining, by the way. Thanks for joining, by the way. Hey, Gloria says, hashtag sales visionary. Cazette, it was always great to hang out with you. Hashtag sales visionary. All of y'all are amazing. Y'all are incredible human beings. I've got to go right now because i got to go to a meeting. And Teresa's going to be upset because I should have been in there probably 25 minutes ago. But hey, worst case scenario is they fire me. Anyway, talk to y'all later. Make it a great day, everyone. Uh, by the way, my name is Shay Brown. The happy entrepreneur. Make it a great day and we'll make some good things out. We connect again next time. God bless and I'll see you soon. Bye bye for now.